Hey guys, it's World War II Signal Corps reenactor here, and I know it's been a while. I just got back from my recent trip and event at the World War II weekend at the Mid-Atlantic Air Museum in Reading, Pennsylvania. And I got quite a few stuff, but so far I'm going to do a gear layout of what I have and what I'll be wearing to my upcoming tactical in the woods, my fully authentic tactical in the woods with my unit versus the German 914th group and I'll post a vid I'll take a video when I'm there but I won't post it till after the event but so let's get started and some of this stuff is closed up but I'll show you what it is in another video like what's inside there and what I've packed in there and in my pockets and whatever but this is a rough stuff that I have so far so let's start at the top if I can be careful and walk my way over here so up here I have my wool shirt and it's original same with the pants it's a matching set pants and shirt came together when I bought them a long time ago my signal core garrison cap has the signal core piping, the orange and white, and the 39th Signal Battalion pin, which is very hard to find. Got that at Reading. And then, Reading was hot, but whatever. And then in my pockets, I would have my camels, my lighter. It, all, it, it will vary what I have in my pockets, but then I have my eraser, my World War II original wallet that I got with a signal core patch on it which was kind of cool a little booklet like writing tablet booklet whatever it's called a pencil and I have my inkwell pen but it's upstairs I don't want it to leak all over this because you're supposed to have them right side up and not the other way otherwise they'll leak out but that would go in here too and then, as I'm moving on back this way, my wool trousers, I do have, I put stuff in my pants, but that'll be in another video. My original Signal Core handkerchief that I have in my pocket, will have in my pocket. Then next to it will be my original front seam swivel bale Schluter helmet. I got the net at Reading. It's an original two inch net that the YD would have been given during the war. I have my NCO stripe with medical tape and my original helmet liner. It's a Firestone, pretty good condition. Moving on, my dog tag set. And then I have my 43 jacket with my sergeant stripes. I have my original Gerferber, whatever it's called, I kind of forget the name, don't hate me on it, but original 42 issued German Spork, original uh, Jeep cap that I got, a match tin World War II, waterproof match case, I put the uh, modern ones in there because the original ones I wanted to keep for display. And I put a new striker in here too, so hopefully it'll work. And I did clean it before I put them in there. My Esbit, yes I know it's not a World War II one. I'm still looking for an original, but I used this. I also recently got this, which was a blessing. The German language guide, and I got a brand new French translation book, because my other one I have is kind of deteriorating along the seams here, but... German captured sold book, my message book for signal core stuff for sending messages. Um, moving on here, this is difficult without a tripod, but you get the gist of it. Sorry, it's a bit shaky, but again, the stuff in my pockets will be very depending on how I feel and what I put in there. I obviously won't keep these in here, but. Uh, 
in my lower pocket I'll have electric friction tape, my bad. I'll have friction tape, a cleaning brush for my rifle or carbine, depending on what I use. Handkerchief to like wipe my face or whatever. Flashlight. Uh, half and half. Again, it will vary what I feel like putting in during the time. Obviously, I want to keep this in here. I don't want it to get wet. I might put something else in the pocket instead of this, but we'll see what happens. My 40s watch. Wrist watch. So, yeah. Moving on. Still up here, I have my haversack. Fully loaded out, ready to go for the weekend. It's kind of, the event is kind of a carry in, carry out. And we're being authentic, so I'm carrying everything with me in. or And then I'm going to drive a Jeep around, but we'll see what happens. And I'm only taking what I need, not taking too much. And then I have my carbine. My beautiful, lovely carbine. I recently got the uh, OD7 sling at Redding, and I got a pouch for the back, but no nothing other than less. It's a carbine. My double buckle boots I'll be wearing. Recently dubbed them so they're waterproof for the event. Move these out of the way because they're kind of in the way. But uh, yeah, there's the carbine. Don't mind me, my allergies are kind of kicking in, but we move down. We have my original wool blanket. I'll probably have to re-sew the holes in it, but my uh, rain coat, my 43 dated rain coat, which is size medium, that I'll be bringing too. I'll slip both of them in there, but Ooh, that'll be another video coming soon, very soon, but... And then, again, depending what I use, if I use the carbine, I'll be using my pistol belt. But if I don't use my pistol belt, I'll be using my O3 A3. So I'll be using my my cartridge belt instead. But more or less, I'll probably be using this instead. So Instead of the carbine, because I don't have blanks for it. And my event is in two weeks, so... I doubt Atlantic Wall would ship blanks in two weeks, so I'll wait. My pistol belt, 1911, a linesman kit, signal core lineman kit. This is a civilian version that was given during the war because the army version would say signal core here on it, but they still use them anyways towards the end of the war because they were running low on supplies. Whew, talk. If I'm talking a lot, I do apologize. It's been a while, so kind of want to get a video out to you people to see what's going on. My lightweight gas mask bag packed, ready to go. Yeah, and if you're wondering why there's stitches here, I kind of the seams on the inside where the three pockets are kind of gave way because the stitching pulled out on the other side, so I re sewed them together. So I can actually use the pockets, but then I have my Polaroid all-purpose goggles. Missing a lens, but they still work. Pretty pliable, too. My cartridge belt. Everything on here. Pretty standard. Then underneath is my shelter half I'll be using, too, in a foxhole. And yes, I'll be sleeping in a foxhole, like a GI. Because it's all frontline tactics and battles during the two days. But, yeah. Um, I will be doing another video coming soon about the newest additions I got for my collection and to use at reenactments. But, and there's kind of a sneak peek of one. And there's a sneak peek of too but yes this is what I will most likely be wearing and bringing half of my stuff I'll be bringing with me to the tactical in two weeks 
And the tactical, if you're wondering where it is, it will be in New Hampshire somewhere. I won't give out the location, but until after the event, but just in case someone gets an idea of coming to visit or yada yada yada. And, it, and it's on public, private, my bad, private property. So I don't want the owner to get in trouble or hate us for telling people where it's going to be. But yeah, this is my 39th Signal Battalion uniform since I'm part of the signal corps in the 26 YD but yes this is part of what I'll be bringing next video will be on the what's in here what I packed in there and my newest additions I got that I'll be bringing too so hope you guys liked the video if you liked it give it a like if you have any comments or questions leave them below and don't forget to subscribe for more content there will be more content this year so thank you and have a great day